It's race day on Kids Toys Play! <laughs> Team Tommy versus Old Style Trackmaster. Let's do our Trackmaster engines first. Porter, Molly, James, Green Salty, Caitlin, Paxton, Victor comes to Sodor, Den, Whiff, Bell, Connor, and Dennis. Team Tommy. Mavis, Bill, Lady, Toby, Emily, Alpha, Duck, Rusty, Thomas, Madoc, Edward, Diesel. First race is going to be Devious Diesel of Team Tommy versus Victor comes to Sodor. I think this is real talking, Victor. On your marks, get set. Go! Off they go! It looks like Diesel has a little bit of a advantage here. He has no problems going up the hill, but he has that problem staying on. We're going to have to get him back on track, which gives Victor a definite lead now, folks. As Victor takes the high road, oh, Diesel doesn't even know which way he's going. He's got a lot of directional problems here today, folks. But it looks like he's doing okay. Won't be able to climb this black hill. Yes, he does. And he falls off immediately as Victor comes back on. We'll put Diesel back on, but I don't think it's enough. Victor goes on, and he gets the checkered flag. Diesel, wow, you did terrible, my friend. Hey. An interesting race. Diesel could not stay on track to save himself. Victor comes to Sonor, and he comes just in time to win the race. Next race is a battle of the Diesels as Mavis from Far Core Corey takes on Pax through the Diesel Works. On your marks. Get set. Go! Oh, Paxton has much trouble staying on track and on time, but here we go, folks. No problems climbing the hill. And he comes back down. Here's Mavis on the other side. Mavis looks like she is slightly ahead, and she got stuck up there, but let's get her back on the middle lane. It was to take the outside lane, and now he is ahead, but will it be enough, or will Mavis be able to catch him? Paxton working very hard, and now he got caught up on top of the hill. This track is tricky, Ricky. And here we go, it looks like Mavis has defeated Paxton, oh wow! Well, Battle of the Diesels are settled. Mavis eliminates Paxton in what could be considered an upset. These guys had tough times on the tracks. Now we have a Battle of the Ladies, and I mean literally as Lady of the Magic Railroad takes on Molly. This is gonna be a fun race. On your marks, get set, go! go. And here we go, it looks like Lady is now overpassing Molly. She does have a slight lead. Does she have problems coming up the hill? No, she doesn't. Here comes Molly, and Molly is getting stuck up the hill. And oh no, she's falling over. We've got to get her back on track. Will it be enough as Lady comes out of the hill that she has caught Molly? We'll lift up Lady, give Molly the right away, and put Lady back down. But I don't think it's going to be enough for Molly as Molly rounds the corner and comes out. Lady is well ahead at this point, folks, and she is just keeping on, keeping on, and we'll get enough to get that checkered flag, Molly. Has problems up the hill again. It looks like her tender got caught. And that was a wonderful battle. Molly also having problems staying on track and on time, but not a problem for Lady as she goes on to the next round. Emily and Belle, this is going to be... Uh, you like the girls, don't you? Yeah. And she's spraying us all with water? No, she's spraying pipe water. Good, we don't want our viewers at home getting wet. On your marks, get set, go! Oh, it looks like Belle has a little bit of a head start on Emily. Emily's having a tough time on the track. Here comes Belle, no problem, up and around the track. She is really going, and it looks like she will take the high road. She's definitely going. It looks up at Emily. Emily got stuck up on the hill. This is going to be a malfunction at the junction here, folks. As Belle is coming up the hill, and now she's beating Emily, and she's pushing Emily over. We turned into the world's strongest engine here. Let's lift up Belle, let Emily go past. And Emily's having a real tough time. Not Belle, though. Belle is definitely... On track and on time, she will go on and get that checkered flag. Emily can't even stay on track. Well, that was a very one-sided race. Emily can't even stay on track. Congratulations, Belle. It's time for the next race as Bill of Team Tommy takes on Caitlin, one of the fastest engines. That, um, she's not even from Sodor, actually. She's from the mainland. On your marks. Get set. Go! Oh, looks like Caitlin got a bit of a head start, but Bill is quickly catching up as he has no problems climbing the hill. Caitlin in the background. Oh no, Caitlin is falling off. Her tender knocked her off. Let's get her back on track before, but it's too late. And Bill crashes into her. Oh wow, now he's pushing. We've turned the world's strongest engine here. The crowd is cheering for Caitlin, but I don't think it's enough. We're gonna 
Whoa, look at Belle. Belle's really just pushing on Kayla. This is kind of fun. We'll lift up Belle, put him back down, give Kaylin a little bit of an advantage there, but it's enough for Bill, who is definitely going ahead, and he will go on and get that checkered flag. Kaylin falling off the hill when she came up. I'm curious, will she fall off again? No, but her tender stopped her cold. That was an exciting race that got off to a great start. Kaylin, that tender, we shouldn't have raced her with it, but that's okay, we did anyways, and it proved to be her downfall as Bill from the Soto China Clay Pits goes on. And here it is, a race of our two most popular engines, Murdoch representing Team Tomy and Connor representing Team Trackmaster. Let's see who the fastest is. On your marks, get set, go! Oh, we need to get, something happened there with Murdoch. Oh man, he has brand new batteries too, but look at Connor. Connor is flying through there, and he is going through there, and he's taking the, the smaller track, and he is definitely running through there, and he's on the short track. I don't know what happened to Murdoch, but this cannot be good as the two will collapse. Oh, Connor just knocked Murdoch right over. Unbelievable. Get the second play. Congratulations, Connor. Murdoch, we just changed his batteries, and he still didn't do good enough. Connor just destroyed him and knocked him right off the track. Congratulations, Connor. Another fantastic race as Arthur, one of the most underrated engines of Team Tomy, takes on Whip. I don't think we've raced Whip in a while. On your marks, get set, show! Oh, Arthur, he needs a little bit of encouragement to come out of his shell. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Whip is having problems climbing the hill, but Arthur has no problems, and he is all the way down. Oh, wow, he's got the inside track. What's gonna happen, Malfunction at the junction, Arthur? Gets derailed, but he's back on track as Whip is taking the outside track. But look at Arthur, it's the real story here. He's already climbed the hill. Going back down in a maroon streak of lightning, he has won the race. Well, he had a bit of a late start, but he certainly made up speed and time for it as he has defeated Whip, my friend, Arthur. Two of the friendliest engines in all of Sodor, it is Green Salty, and he's gonna go up against Tommy. I mean, Toby. I mean, Tommy Toby. I mean, this guy. On your marks. Get set, go! Oh, and now it's Green Salty that needs a little bit of help out here, but look at Toby, Toby can't even get up the hill. We definitely need help with there, but here comes Green Salty in the background and he is catching up. I don't know what happened there. Toby actually switched the point. There's gonna be a malfunction at the junction. We've turned into world's strongest engine here again, folks. We're gonna lift up Toby because he's the one that accidentally knocked over the points. And that's a more fair race, but you can see Toby in the background is really just taking it to Green Salty. And he goes on and he will win. Green Salty very close, but he finishes second. Well, we expected a little bit better of Green Salty, but Toby, Toby goes on. He, he just went so fast for that little tram engine. It's another battle of the diesels as Rusty, the narrow gauge friendly diesel, takes on Dennis, the most hardworking diesel ever. On your marks, get set. Go! And they both need a little push. Oh, Rusty has a little push, and there comes Dennis. Rusty had a little bit of a head start. I think he that got off. Oh, man, both these guys are struggling now. Every day I'm struggling, they say. Dennis, working so hard, he couldn't even get up the hill. Here comes Rusty. He has the outside track, but he has definitely taken it as Dennis is falling behind. Rusty is doing so good here as he comes up and has no problems up that hill again, and Diesel goes really slow. Rusty wins, but Dennis rather is still stuck at the top of the hill. It's another great win for Team Tommy as Rusty has eliminated Dennis the Lazy Diesel who is so lazy he can't even climb a hill. Let's run to the next race. It's the Great Western Way as number eight duck represents Team Tommy against number five, James, a new engine to kids' toys play. On your marks, get set, go! go! And here they are, and it looks like a very one-sided race. Just got fun, you brand new batteries in you, my friend. What's going on? But once again, I don't even know what's happening with Duck. Duck, come on, they're both struggling to come up the hello, James. This is gonna be a race to see who the slowest engine is. James is having a problem. Duck got caught on the, what's going on? His wheels are turning, folks. James is now definitely in the lead. Duck, come on, you can do this, my friend. Waddle your way into front place. Here's James, and Duck is having problems again. James now, coming over. This is a race to see who the slowest is gonna be. And it looks like it is Duck, who has just barely won. I don't know what happened there. James, my friend, you guys were slow. Wow, what a horrible race. Neither of these engines performing very well. Duck 
hardly could climb the hills he needed help. We're winding down the first round as it is the leader of the steamies, Thomas the Tank Engine, going to, up against one of the leaders of the diesels, Dan of the Vickerstown Diesel Works. On your marks, get set, go! go! And here we are, it looks like Thomas is off to a great start and he has opened up. Wow, Dan is uh, slipping behind. Thomas has gotten the high road. Oh, but he takes the low road. And remarkably, Dan takes the high road. Dan is going to the checkered flags, but I don't think that he is going to be able to catch Thomas, who has gone over the hill again, and he will go on and get that checkered flag. Congratulations, Thomas. Dan, great effort, but not enough. Congratulations to Thomas, the tank engine. He has eliminated one of our brand new engines, Dan. Wow. And the final race of the first round will have Edward representing Team Tommy up against Porter with his three camel humps, and he is representing Trackmaster. On your marks, get set. Go! Oh, it looks like Porter needs a little bit of help, but he has no problem. Edward with a quick start, but now he does have a problem. A tough time climbing the hill. Edward doesn't have steady Eddie. Look at that. Oh, and now he does get over the hill. Good job, Edward. Porter did have problems. He's taking over the high road. And he will meet Edward in a malfunction at the junction, if you will. Edward's tender has been knocked off. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He is going too slow. Oh, man. Porter, you're having problems climbing hills, too. But you have no problem defeating Edward Blue. One of our favorite engines here on Kids Toys Play, but definitely one of the slower ones. Come on, you can do it, buddy. Good job. Hey, Porter. Hey, Porter. Can you tell me the time? How much longer until we get that Edward off the line? Welcome to the second round, and we have a really one-sided outcome here. Trackmaster only winning four races, Team Tommy doubling and winning eight. Porter, one of the few Trackmaster engines going up against the Great Western Engine Duck. On your marks. Get set. Go! Yeah. Oh, and here they go. It looks like Duck had a little bit of a head start. Porter coming down quickly. Duck getting caught. Oh, and he's getting caught climbing the hill. He's having a really tough time climbing though, so is Porter, but Porter will get up. We'll give Duck a little bit of an edge too and have him come across. Porter though, he's taking the inside track and there's gonna be a malfunction at the junction as Porter, as Duck had a problem getting through and now he's pushed off Porter. So let's give him the right of way and have Porter go up. Duh, come on. And look at Porter, here he goes and he has gone on to win. Well, it's a big win for Team Trackmaster and they need every win they can get. Duck, you are eliminated. The next race will have Bell from Team Trackmaster going up against Rusty the No Gauge Diesel. On your marks, get set. Go! Oh, Rusty has a little bit of a late start. Here comes Bell. No problems for her. She has climbed the hill with a little bit of struggle. Not as much as Rusty. He's already been caught and he is having a tough time. Here comes Bell. And she's even got the inside track. Rusty narrowly going on the outside track. But here comes Bell with definitely in the lead. Rusty coming up behind her. She will climb that hill and she will zoom on down. Rusty, will you get stuck on the hill again? No problems this time, but it won't be enough to catch Bell who is taking the checkered flag. Bell continuing the win streak for Team Trackmaster and they need every win they can get, folks. And here we have the big strong engine, Connor, who just eliminated Murdoch. He's now going up against Bill. We'll see how he does here. On your marks, get set. Hold this gun, hold on. On your marks. Get set, go! Oh, and Bill's having a tough time. He needs a little bit of a push with me. Connor has a head start, but we'll see what happens when they climb the hill. Bill glides down, and now he is very, very close. But he has to take the outside track as Connor takes the inside track. Meeting halfway, they look very, very close. It looks like Connor has a slight advantage here. But Bill is having no problems catching up as he's climbed the hill and down again. Here comes Connor. It's going to be super close, but it looks like it is definitely Bill. Well, Bill breaks the Trackmaster win streak and eliminates Connor. Congratulations, Bill, the first homie to make it onto the third round. The final Trackmaster of round two is Victor comes to Sodor, talking Victor, and he goes up against the magic of Lady. On your marks, get set, go! go! Oh, Lady has a, lead, a little bit, a little bit of an early start for Victor, but Lady had no problems passing him. As she is going on, Victor comes to Sodor, but he is late on the gate, and it looks like Lady Taking the high road, Victor taking the low road, and out come the turns. It looks like Lady has maintained a slight lead as she is the first to go over the hill. Talking Gordon is doing the best he can, but I don't think it's going to be any match for Lady of the Rails. Oh, and he got caught as Lady goes on to win. 
Victor, what do you have to say for yourself? And another Trackmasters eliminated. Talking Victor, goodbye. Hello, Lady of the Rails. Continuing on the second round, it's going to have to be Tommy versus Tommy as we've run out of Trackmaster. So here's a great race as Thomas the Tank Engine takes on Mavis of the Four Quark Quarry. On your marks. Get set. Go! Oh, Thomas falls off the track. He keeps going though, we're gonna get him back. Oh, and Mavis has a tough time climbing the hill, but Thomas has taken the lead. Let's get Mavis, oh man, Mavis is just a mess. Thomas is going super fast and he will meet on to Mavis and look at him, struggling to go. We'll lift you up and give Mavis the right away, but I don't think it'll be enough for her to catch you, my friend, eh? as you are having no problems. Oh, and as soon as I say that, he has a problem. Let's see if Mavis has a problem up this hill. Yep, she does. Oh, come on, Thomas. Oh, and the kids, the kids are cheering, but I don't think it much matters. I think Thomas is definitely the fastest of the two. Well, congratulations, Thomas the Tank Engine. You have eliminated Mavis. That was the most awkward race we've seen this round. Final race of the second round is Arthur of the LMS versus Toby. I'm really looking forward to this race. These guys are both underdogs. On your marks. Get set. Go! Off they go. Arthur needs a little bit of help. Toby needs a little bit of help up the hill, and he gets it. But here comes Arthur on the back end. This is a very good race. They look almost neck and neck. Arthur taking the high road. Toby, or sorry, Toby taking the high road. Arthur taking the low road. And out of the turns, it looks like Arthur had an advantage, but Toby caught up to him quick, and Toby is now past him. Arthur very quick down the hill, but what's going to happen? Wow, what a great race that was. A fantastic race, but it looks like Arthur has been eliminated. Congratulations, Toby, who might go on and win the whole thing. Welcome to the third round as Tommy continues its tradition of having twice as many entrants as Team Trackmaster. Unbelievably, Team Tommy is doing so, so good. And here we are, Trackmaster has Bell and Tommy has Bill. Bill versus Bell, Bell versus Bill. On your marks, get set. Go! Oh, Bill needs a little bit of a push. Bell, on the other hand, has no problem climbing that hill and she's coming down. One of the fastest engines. Looks like Bill's caught up to her and he is definitely taking this, but he gets the outside blade as Bell is on the inside turn. And it looks like Bill has passed Bell again, but Bell will make it to the hill first and has a little bit of struggle coming up. It looks like a very close race, but ultimately it is Bill and Team Tommy that go on. Goodbye, Bell. Congratulations, Bill. You have eliminated Bell. Bell, you are eliminated by Bill. Next race in his Trackmaster Porter, the very last Trackmaster engine against Tommy. Thomas. On your marks. Get set. Go! Oh, it looks like Thomas has problems with his front wheels. Let's get him back on as he has no problem climbing that hill. It looks like Porter's going to have a whole bunch of problems though. Thomas is in the lanes and he is coming out and he barely misses Porter. Thomas, this isn't even extra fast Thomas folks. This is just normal run in the middle Thomas. And he is going, going, gone. He goes on. And Tony got stuck on the bridge. Thomas, the tank engine from Team Tommy has eliminated the last track master, meaning Team Tommy has won. Final race of the third round has Lady of the Rails versus Toby the Tram. On your marks, get set. Go! Yeah. Oh, and off they go. And it looks like Toby has a little bit of a lead already as he's climbing the hill. And zooms down the hill. Lady is coming. Oh, Toby is off the rail. Let's get you back on there, fella. You've got the inside track, and so does Lady, and it's turned into World Strongest Engine. We'll put you on the outside and have Lady give Lady an advantage there because you don't even know where you are, my friend. Eh? Lady climbs up and goes down. Here comes Toby. Oh, no, he fell again. Unreal. We got Toby back on track, but it is too late. Lady's already won. Toby, an incredibly fast engine, but he cannot stay on track to save himself as Lady has eliminated him. Three engines remain. Welcome to the final, folks. And it's Thomas the Tank Engine, Bill of the Soto China Clay Pits, and Lady of the Rails, all from Team Tommy. On your marks. Get set. Go! Oh, oh, Bill needs a little bit of a push. Thomas off like a shot, and he's climbing the hill, and he's down again. He will go and he's got the inside lane. That's no good for Bill. What's gonna happen here? And it's very close, but oh wow! We turned into a world strongest engine, but what's happening? Oh no! Thomas has pushed Bill off the face of the earth and now he has got caught on the hill. We've got Bill back on track and on time. Well, I guess we'll do the same thing with Thomas. We'll give Bill a little bit of help, but I don't think it's gonna be any help as Thomas goes on before Bill even makes it up the hill. Thomas has defeated Bill. If he defeats Lady in the next race, he was become the fastest engine on Sodor. On your marks, get set, go! And here we go, Lady off to a little bit of a lead, but here comes Thomas the tank engine. As they both go off the hill, who is in lead? It looks like definitely Thomas. 
Uh, he has now taken the outside track, and Lady of the Rails is on the inside track, but Thomas is too fast. And it looks like nothing is stopping Thomas here. As he's going, as soon as I say that, something stopped Thomas. We'll get him back on track. Lady has a distinct advantage. What's going to happen? And it's, oh my goodness, unreal. And here is Lady Hat presenting the trophy to today's big winner, Thomas the Tank Engine of Team Tommy. Which is faster, Toby or Trackmaster? I like your shirt. Thanks. Thomas and Friends, Tommy versus Thomas and Friends, Trackmaster. Who is your favorite engine? Team Trackmaster. Elephant Gordon, Lion James. Are you telling the truth? No, he's Lion. Panda Percy, Monkey Thomas. He kind of looks like you. Yeah. Kenji, Duchess, Lorenzo, and Gina. Versus Team Tommy. Extra Fast Thomas, Percy, Toby, Mighty, and Matt. That was really quick. Ladder and Dodge, Boko, and finally Real Steam Thomas. Let's get our boilers bubbling as Elephant Gordon will take on Real Steam Thomas. On your marks, get set, go! go! Off they go, and look at this, they're down the way, and it is Gordon doing his very best with that big truck of his, but it looks like Real Steam Thomas as they go into the turns and come out. Gordon coming out of there, but look at Real Steam Thomas as Annie is pushing him, and he is going, 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 and gets the checkered flag. Real Steam Thomas, one of the fastest engines we own overall, has taken out Elephant Gordon, but that was closer than I thought it would be. Next up, it's a shunting competition from the great race as Gina of Italy takes on Extra Fast Thomas of Tomy, and you're gonna find out why they call him Extra Fast. On your marks, get set, go! Off they go, oh no! A little bit of a hang up for Extra Fast Thomas, but he is catching up rapidly as Gina is in the lead, but look at Extra Fast Thomas as they go and do the turns. This is very exciting as they come into the heart shaped terms who will be in the lead and it looks like it is and it's extra fast Thomas. My goodness, he has really taken control of this. Goes on and gets a checkered flag. And now we know why he is extra fast. He had a little bit of a hang up at the gates but he got the extra checkered flag and Gina is eliminated. More great matches coming your way as Lion James has his butterflies all over him. He's going to take on Boko of Team Tommy. On your marks. Get set, go! Oh no, Boko! What happened to Boko? He got a little bit lost there. It looks like James on the straightaway, Lion James, and I asked him if he was cheating and he said, no, I'm Lion. He always tells the truth here and it is Lion James coming way on the straightaway. He definitely gets a checkered flag, Boko. I'm not sure what happened. A little bit of problems with Boko and he never really got in his group, but it was Lion James telling the truth the whole way down the line. Lorenzo, the musical engine from Italy, going up against Tommy Percy, someone who's kind of new to our channel. Let's see what happens. On your marks, get set, go! Off they go and look at this. Oh, Percy, you're gonna start calling you slow coaches. As Lorenzo, the musical engine, he is playing a tune right on harp, or right on Percy's funnel, if you will. Lorenzo, look at the beauty of those tracks just going. You can hear the music playing in the background as he gets a checkered flag. Well, we certainly love Percy on this channel, but Lorenzo, look at that beautiful tank of his and that mustache. That must be the mustache, that's why he won. Next up, it's a steamy versus diesel battle as Panda Percy, new to the channel, takes on Dodge, who has proven to be very fast in the past. On your marks, get set. Go! Off they go, and look at this, it is. Whoa, Dodge has pulled ahead of Panda Percy. It must be some form of Panda Magic holding Percy back, because they go into the turns. They're going to have a lot of fun coming around. It looks like, wow, Dodge well ahead. Proving why he is the fastest green engine on Sodor. Now look how far ahead he is of Percy. He goes on, gets a checkered flag. Panda Percy, who is the star of Day of the Diesels, gets dieseled as Dodge takes out the Panda, who is busy eating bamboo. Next up, it is the old versus the new, as Duchess, one of the newest engines being introduced only last year, takes on Toby from Team Tomy. One of our faster Tomy engines, I believe. On your marks, get set, 
Go! Off they go. Look at this. Looks like Dutch has had a bit of a head start. Toby doing his best to keep up, and he's doing a very good job keeping up after all. Oh no! He has slipped back, and he is definitely not doing as well. We're getting shielded. I don't know why from Duchess, but here comes Tommy. Tommy is now in line with the tender, meaning Duchess is definitely ahead, and that's enough to get the checkered flag. Duchess has a reputation of turning and falling down because her wheels and her front funnel are just way ahead, but not this time, and Toby has been eliminated by Duchess. Next up, it is the best looking train on Sodor, Monkey Thomas, monkeying around as Splatter, one of Diesel 10's devious henchmen tries to eliminate him. On your marks, get set, go! Off they go and whoa, look at this. Monkey Thomas was too busy monkeying around and it is splatter. Unbelievable, and look at him. He is splattering all over the track as he is so far ahead of Thomas, it's not even funny. And he splatters so hard, there's fireworks, folks. Oh, Monkey Thomas. The new Sodor Safari engines are brand new to our channel and they do very good, but they're being eliminated by some of these Tomies, my goodness. And the final race of the first round has Kenji, another brand new engine to Sodor, going up against Mighty Mac. It looks like Mighty is gonna represent him. On your Mighty, get set, go! <laughs> Off they go and oh, oh no, Mighty Mac has got derailed already. It is actually the carriage that's pushing Mighty Mac, but look at this, it doesn't matter as Kenji comes around the corner. He is well ahead at this point and he is going so quickly. Oh no, Kenji! Oh no. Can we get some help here, Kenji? Oh my goodness. Oh, and now Mighty Mac has gotten back, but it's not gonna be enough as Kenji gets a checkered flag. Well, Mighty Mac not looking as great as he usually does as Kenji eliminates him. Hopefully our friend Mighty Macthon isn't watching. Welcome to second round action as four members of each team are still in the races. Duchess, Lion James, Lorenzo, and Kenji representing Team Trackmaster as Real Steam Thomas, Dodge, Splatter, and Extra Fast Thomas represent Team Tommy. First race of the round has Duchess going up against Extra Fast Thomas. On your marks, get set, Go! Off they go, and here we are. And look at this, it looks like Extra Fast Thomas living up to his name, oh my goodness. As they're going through, oh no, Duchess gets a little bit of a problem coming around, but it doesn't much matter. She will come around the mountain when she comes, but look at Extra Fast Thomas, he's the real story here, as he is going, going, and gets the checkered flag. And the Duchess, one of our favorite engines, dad's favorite anyways, has been eliminated by Extra Fast Thomas of Team Tommy. Next race, and our race master has decided Kenji is going to be taking on Real Steam Thomas, pushed by Annie. On your marks, get set, go! Off they go and look at this, oh my goodness. Kenji doing as well as he can, but he's no match. Look at this, Annie pulling well ahead at this point, and they are really going into those turns, but it doesn't much matter. Look at this, this guy is absolutely insane, and he has gone on to win as Kenji comes in a distant second. I was expected, Real Steam Thomas, one of the fastest engines we own, has eliminated Kenji. Will Trackmaster be able to get any wins in the second round? Let's find out as Lion James takes on Splatter. On your marks, get set. Go! Off they go, and look at this, oh my goodness, it is Tommy, Team Tommy yet again, a splatter is definitely ahead of James at this point. James going around on the outside, but I don't think it much matters. Look at Splatter coming through. He is really going for it, and he has got the checkered flag, my goodness. Lion James, the last of the Sodor Safari engines, eliminated Team Tommy three wins in a row. In the final race, Lorenzo, the very last Trackmaster engine still in it, will go up against Dodge, who could eliminate Trackmaster altogether. On your marks, get set, Go! Off they go! Look at this, they're very evenly matched at this point. It looks like Dodge's pulling ahead. Oh no, this could not be oh, good Lorenzo. for the Trackmasters. Oh, the crowd is going for Lorenzo. Oh, Lorenzo Lorenzo's coming Lorenzo. around, but it looks like this, and it's definitely Dodge. Dodge well ahead of Lorenzo, and that is all she wrote for Team Trackmaster. Lorenzo eliminated, meaning all of Trackmaster engines have been eliminated, and Team Tommy has won today's competition. But which Tommy engine is the fastest? Let's find out as we enter the final four. We've switched the track to make it all Tommy, and Liam, our matchmaker, has decided extra fast Thomas will be going up against Real Steam Thomas in the first race. On your marks, get set. Go! 
Oh, whoa, whoa, look at this. And now Andy is passing extra fast. Tom is not living up to his name as they enter into the turns, but it is real steam Thomas going as fast as he can. And he is going, going, and he is gone. Real steam Thomas going on to the final, but who will he face? Let's find out as Splatter and Dodge compete. On your marks, get set. Go! Oh, off they go, and wow, Splatter pulling ahead of Dodge. Liam was very curious about which one of these two is faster. It looks like Splatter is leading the race big time now. This is the same length of track, and look at Splatter. He is really going ahead, and he will go on and win. Well, everyone was curious, and now we know Splatter is faster than Dodge. But is Splatter faster than Real Steam Thomas? Let's find out as we're here in the very final of today's races. On your marks. Get set. Go! Oh, off they go. Look at this. And a splatter. Oh my goodness. Splatter's going faster. Unbelievable. I've never seen this. Holy smokes. Real Steve Thomas is ahead slightly, but it is splatter going faster. Look at this. They're coming out. Come on. And out that splatter. Look at this. And he's catching up on the straightaway. And it is. Oh no. Real Steve Thomas did win, but he did start out with a big advantage because of Annie. Splatter, I think, might actually be faster of the two on the straightaways, but it was Real Steam Thomas winning today. Congratulations, Real Steam Thomas. But let's keep an eye on Splatter and see how he does in the future. Hey, Liam, what's this? A mystery surprise box. What do you think's inside? Um, trains? You're probably right. Let's open up and take a look. Whoa. That was right. We've got lots of Tommy. Here's Mighty Mac. And we have a Thomas. And a bolstrode and a bulgy. Oh yeah, I see all this stuff. And we have two this. Thank you, train. What do you think? We should take these pieces out and see what we have? Yeah. So believe it or not, William, this is an actual set. Whoa. This is called the Thomas and Friends Ultimate Set from Tomy. It is about 15 years old, and guess what? What? We don't have instructions. <gasps> so we're gonna put this set together and we're gonna try and figure it out. What do you figure? Okay. Let's get building. Truck build day. Well, Liam, you've already built up the bridge. Yep. You got this figured out. You know what, though? What? We can't seem to even find the instructions online for this set. Uh-oh. I know. This is the second set, so we're going to have a lot of fun trying to figure it out just by looking at pictures. Hey, who do you have here? Cranky. And? Bullshit. Show us how this works. Oh, look at that. And Cranky loads up and unloads. Ooh. And then what else, what do we do here? Oh, there he goes. He does it a few times, then he goes. So this right here is where the track meets the road. What does this do? Oh, look at that. Okay. So the road goes this way and the track comes this way. So I will start building the track and you will start building the road? Yes. Oh, you found more stuff. Oh yeah, look at that. The train can stop. Cool. Looks like you're building something here. What's going on? Trying to clay pits. Trying to clay pits? Yep. We have a trying to clay pits. Okay, you put it together and we'll see what's going on. I'm gonna get this set. I'm gonna keep going on with the road and rail. Okay, and that goes right. Good job. And is this built yet or no? No. We still have to do more? Okay. Okay, is that how that works? Yeah. Okay, do you have the ball? Here comes Thomas, Thomas comes in there. And then this goes down and goes into there. Oh, so it dumps it back into there. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I wonder how that worked. I think we are missing a few pieces on this. We're gonna see if we can find them. Let's get back to building. Are you gonna do the road or do you wanna do the rail? I'm gonna do the road. You're gonna do road? Yeah. Good stuff. I need another curve. You need another curve? You're doing really good. I got this going on. Okay, these special pieces go on here. I figured out these special curves. That looks nice. Okay, you got the lifting up part, the overhead going on. Mm -hmm. This is a big set. This is gonna take up a lot of area. I think we might have to move it, I don't even know. So it goes like this, this, this. But then we can put this in here. And then we can put in the docks. And there's Cranky. I think this piece goes here, which is good because that is good news for Bullstrode. He has access to the docks. I don't think the bridge goes here, son. So the bridge is falling down. We're looking at pictures online, trying to figure this out. And Daddy has one idea with the rails and Liam has another idea with the roads. I don't think this is right, son. Hey, you figured it out, William? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, we just needed to put another short roadway in there. You should work for city construction. Oh. I'm just kidding, you're way too efficient. Hmm, I wonder where this goes. Hmm, I wonder where it goes too. Maybe hmm. it goes here. Well, where else would it go? Okay, now you have the road leap, looping around. This is gonna be Birdie's road or Bulgy's road or both? Good stuff. Okay, that means that dad can keep on laying down some track here and building and the road is finally figured out, right? You have a hill, good job. Okay, and I think this piece goes right here on the straightaway, which means that we can put a curve. I think we're doing a good job figuring it out. No instructions online or otherwise, guys. Now dad's got the problem because this has to connect to there, but I'm already strung all out and it's just not meeting up. I gotta figure that out. Okay, so you come down the hill and then up this hill right here. Is that the idea? Yeah. I kind of like this. Okay, I think I had too long of a piece in there because this is all working around now. We have a bit of a loop, but it does extend out this way now. The road's finished. Is it? Yeah. Does it all look even? Yeah. Do you want to test it out? Yeah. Okay. Here's Bulgy, loud and proud. Oh, okay, that's what happens there. And he is gone. Dad's got to catch up here. Oh no. oh, no, we had some, somebody left that on the road. Bulgy having no problem, though. He's got some freight and he is, go, go, Bulgy. Bulgy, why are you green? Because he's a chicken coop. Oh, he's a chicken coop. He's a chicken coop on wheels. And that seems to go, can he go the other way, do you think? No problem climbing the hills for Bulgy. And here we go around the other way. Will he have a problem going over? Oh, he goes better that way, actually. Free the roads. All right, that road works good. Good job, Liam. Okay, you have Bulgy on the rails now. That's not good. But look, I got a bridge built. Anyways, we're coming up. Look, train goes under the road, and then the road goes under the train. That makes sense. Okay, I think it is time, William, for you to put the bridge together. Yay, I love this part. Okay, you're having fun putting this bridge together. Here's another piece for you. I think that we are doing pretty good right here. Okay, you got this going on. Look at these. That's huge. Wow, that's a big bridge. Okay, you ready to put these on? Yep. Do you want to test this out? Yeah. We got Mighty Mac, which is awesome. There's Mighty Mac coming around, folks. Chuffing on down the line. It's actually his carriage that's pushing him. This is really kind of unique. And he has no problems going up the hill, across the bridge. Will he go over the big Sodor Bridge? And he comes around and perfect, he is. Not derailed at all. I think we can pop that right in here. And then I think we just need two curves and that's all we have left is those two curves over there. Why don't you do the honors, William? Put the curves in. Hmm, I wonder where this piece I wonder where goes. that goes too. I bet you it fits in there perfect. Hmm. Oh, perfect. And are we completed? Yeah. Okay, we are missing a few buildings and such, but I think that this is the complete set, really. This is the majority of it anyways. Look at the size of this set, wow. And for some reason, there's a tree growing on top of this grassy tunnel. Okay, we are missing some pieces, but that's all right, because we got Thomas, we've got Mighty Mac, we've got Bulgy, and we have all the track pieces. Oh, and we have Cranky and Bulstrode. Liam, are you ready to get going? Let's use Thomas the tank engine and we'll put this car on him and maybe the troublesome truck. What do you think? Okay. Thomas the tank engine, ready, set, go, go, Thomas. And all your load. He's got the fuel car too. Here he comes going up the bridge. And this is the bridge that never ends. It just goes on and on, my friends. What's going to happen over here at the docks? He'll just go right through coming over this massive bridge and he's coming down the line what's gonna happen this time at the docks he will stop and cranky loading up and unloading this is all automatic actually folks third time's a charm and off goes thomas coming down the line which way will he go i think i've changed the tracks yes i have underneath the road and he is still on the rails and what happens here Oh no, we actually forgot to stop that, okay. And he has stopped right here, what happened? Oh, he's on go, but the, the railway's caught him. There's Cranky loading up Bullstrode again, and Thomas comes down the line. 
We'll come back, we'll see if this is any bit better this time. As he comes through, what's gonna happen? And he unloads his load there, I'm not sure what happens. That's turning, so we are missing a piece there. Oh, is it a conveyor belt that goes up? Uh-huh, and it goes into there. And you, and you notice that already? So he just goes, and here he is, switch points, Thomas. Oh, what's happening here? Is he having a tough time? We have asked to give him a little bit of a hand. We'll switch the points and watch Thomas come around. Now what happens if we add a road vehicle, like Bulgy here? Thomas going back over the bridge, What's gonna happen to Bulgy here? He has to stop at the crossing. Road and rail, folks, it's all together now. Free the roads and the anti-railroad league. We'll come back here and we'll just pretend this is loading. We'll see what happens. Bulgy's going, I want them to meet up at the same time. We'll try it right now. Will it be close? Look how close it's gonna be. Oh, Bulgy, wow. Are you gonna try to cause a train crash? Mm -hmm. Which Oh, you're just gonna wait? And he seems to be getting stuck there. Maybe it's just too many cars. Maybe Mighty Mac will fare better. And he will go right over the quarry. And looks like we are going for a malfunction at the junction. Oh, and it's a derailment. Free the roads. I think that's a good, accurate statement. Round two, we've got Mighty Mac. So this is the only Mighty Mac was available with this set. That's the only way you could get him, I guess. You literally turn him around here and now we have Mac and this is what powers him. And Liam, you've got Birdie Bus. This is another Birdie Bus. Let's get Mighty Mac going. And here's Birdie Bus in the race for the rails. We have no problem with this guy. I actually, this is a really great set. It is huge. You can get so many things going. Oh yeah, who's this, Elizabeth? Mighty Mac under, Elizabeth over, and Bert Bulgy. Oh, and you got Bertie, you got them all going on. Looks like there's a little bit of a malfunction at the junction, what's gonna happen? Oh, I don't, Elizabeth had to wait because our trigger guy was a little bit too slow. Lots going on here, crashes galore. She likes going this way, I think, over these bad, big bridges. Oh, Bulgy, Bulgy seems to have broken down on the tracks. Looks like Elizabeth is caught up to Bertie, that's not good for Bertie. Oh, and there it is, Mighty Mac has gone into Elizabeth and Bulgy comes on. What happens if we hit the button? Oh wow, Bulgy is up on Elizabeth and they're both passing Birdie. This is a race to the finish. I can't, this is a massive set. This might be the biggest Trackmaster Tomy style set that we own, really. Here comes Mighty Mac and Bulgy and oh! Perfect timing, Elizabeth being a little bit bossy has pushed on Bulgy. Okay, I see that Liam has done some improvements to the railway. One is by putting a bullet train on the road. <laughs> is he going, is that his high speed? Yeah. Okay, he's really going here. Bullet train versus Bulgy, who will win? I'm gonna say Mighty Mac. Look at this, bullet train catching up with Bulgy. He says free the roads, I don't think you are gonna free the roads. Here comes Bullet Train, oh my goodness, what a great crash. Oh, they're coming to go. Oh, what's gonna happen? Oh, and it's Bullet Train, what's gonna wrap? We'll stop this engine. Bullet Train now is taking over the road. Mighty Mac is on the rail. Mighty Mac coming down the line, and oh no, we're out of rail. Oh, passenger car. Yeah. And he's on the road, like he is really just on the road. And oh no, Mighty Mac, not as mighty as Mac thought. Yeah, I think if we put this in, we can take some of that track out. So now we have real steam. We have the water tower there. And you have this station? Yes. And where are you gonna put it? Here. You can't put it there, Magoo. Random station. Random station? Yeah. To the trains. Okay, no problem. Let's stick with our Tomy trains. What do you think? Okay, which ones do you want to use? Diesel. I like duck. We'll use duck. Rusty's always a lot of fun. And of course, real steam Thomas with Annie and Clarabelle. What happened here already? So much for my science experiment while I tried to put water in the fuel. I like how this all just kind of works. This is weird. Okay, ready to get back to racing? Yeah! Oh yeah, real steam Thomas with Annie and Clarabelle. Where's he gonna go? Past Cranky. Whoa, he's really going. What's going on, and oh my goodness, what a pile up, and somehow Tom is the tank engine. Oh, and he's back on track, he got himself back on track. Go through it, oh look at that, he is now pushing on Duck. Birdie, Rusty, Duck, Thomas. Oh yeah, Thomas has no problems pushing around Duck. This is the great western way. Look at all this action, oh Thomas gets derailed. Oh look at 
that. Wow. Oh, look at this. And now we can go like this, all three road vehicles together. All right, let's see if I can do this. Bernie, Holgy, and it is Elizabeth. Oh, they had no problems going through now. Wow, that was close. Here's Doc coming up the Great Western Way, and he is on the big bridge, but Thomas is hot on his tail. What will happen here, folks? And it won't go, oh, no, Doc gets caboose. We're doing duck, duck, caboose now. Oh, look at this. Look at this. 